to understand a history that is not a history based in slavery, but a history based in royalty. Human civilization started in Africa. Some of the first architectural systems, some of the first engineering systems, some of the first governmental systems. After visiting Egypt, white scholar Count Constantine Devalny wrote, just think, the race of black men today, our slave and object of our scorn, is the very race to which we owe our arts, sciences, and even the use of speech. In order to justify the economic drive of the slave trade, there had to be the denigration of black people. And so people began to see these sculptures of people with clear aphroid features. It was just incontrovertible. The facts, the reality that black people had designed this civilization. Ignore. Just refuse to publish any facts of African history that don't go along with our racial theories. When black contribution to civilization is too obvious, Let's find a way to attribute it to outside white influence. Return to Glory, the powerful stirring of the black man. Based upon the book endorsed by such esteemed men like Bill Cosby, Julius Irving, Tony Evans, Tony Campolo, Ben Carson, Ivan Van Sotoma, Bishop Eddie Long, and many others, narrated by Adrian Branch. Everybody always wants to know, what did my ancestors do? What did my ancestors contribute? Because in a way that's saying, I am an important person by heritage. But when that heritage isn't known, then obviously a huge portion of your self-image goes down the drain. And that's why it, it's so important, I believe, you know, to, to take that young six-year-old boy by the hand and walk down the street and give him a black history lesson and point to his shoes and say it was Jan Motzliger, a black man who invented the automatic shoe lasting machine. And he steps on that clean street and you tell him it was Charles Brooks, a black man who invented the street sweeper, those machines with the big brushes. And down that street comes one of those big refrigerated tractor trailer trucks and you tell him it was Frederick Jones, a black man who invented the refrigeration system for trucks later adopted for airplanes, boats, and trains. And it comes to a stop at the red light and you tell him it was Garrett Morgan, a black man who invented the traffic signal. And you can tell how he also invented the gas mask that saved lots of lives during the war. And while you're talking about the war, Henrietta Bradbury a black woman who invented the underwater cannon made it possible to launch torpedoes from submarines and while you're talking about black women you can talk about Madam C.J. Walker a black woman who invented cosmetic products for women of dark complexion was the first woman of any nationality in the United States to become a millionaire on her own efforts and you'll walk past the, the hospital and you can talk about Charles Drew and his contributions to blood banking, the understanding of blood plasma, Daniel Hale Williams, the first successful open heart surgery in the world, and an operative mortality rate of only 1.5%. Um, you can talk about um, Louis Latimer, who was the uh, right-hand man of uh, Thomas Edison, a black man, who came up with the filament that made the light bulb work for more than two or three days, who invented the electric lamp, who did pioneering work in incandescent and fluorescent lighting, who diagrammed the telephone for Alexander Graham Bell, tremendous inventor in his own right. Almost no one knows of him. You can walk across the railroad tracks and talk about Andrew Beard, the automatic railroad car coupler, which spurred on the Industrial Revolution, or Elijah McCoy, automatic lubrication system for locomotive engines. And he had so many great inventions, people would say, is that a McCoy? Is that the real McCoy? Which is where the term comes from. One of the greatest inventors in the history of man. And people don't know that he was a black man. And, uh, you know, that's how you remedy the situation. This film takes a penetrating glimpse into the history of the black man, presenting compelling visual evidence that the black man once dominated most of the civilized world, only to suffer a tragic downfall of epic proportion. Let the journey begin.